all the neglected maintenance items I've seen come through my shop in the past 15 years, wiper blade replacement has to rank right up there at the top. I don't know what's with this anyway. You know, wiper blades are not that expensive. But in many cases, you'll see wiper blades coming apart like this before they're even replaced. And in many cases, like this uh, 300D124 chassis, you'll see scratches in the windshield, which is very typical of neglected wiper blades. A couple things I want to point out in this video as we talk about the replacement of a wiper blade in the mono wiper assemblies that were found in most Mercedes from 19, uh, you know, 86 up into the mid 1990s. In this car, the person has installed an aftermarket blade and sometimes these can literally drive you crazy. You can see here that there's no easy clip to get it on and off. You're trying to figure out how in the world am I going to disconnect this from the arm and it gets to be a very frustrating experience. I highly recommend that you just pay the extra money and use a genuine Bosch wiper blade which is designed for these mono wiper assemblies. The Bosch OE style wiper blade replacement has a very nice clip. It's very intuitive. You can see here you just squeeze it and push it down and that will allow you to remove that metal arm without a lot of frustration. Then of course once the arm's installed you can pop that clip back up and it securely locks that in place so you'll never have a problem with this wiper coming off while you're moving down the road. Let me show you how I replaced the wiper blade assembly in my personal 1990 300 SL. You may be asking, well, Kent, how often do you replace your blades? I do it in all my cars every year, and I do it in the spring. I use April Fool's Day as kind of a reminder, okay, it's time to change all my wiper blades. And I have quite a few cars, so, you know, it takes a couple of days. The first thing I do on a mono wiper uh, car assembly is to get the blade in a 45 degree position like this. It's very hard to work on blade replacement when it's down here in the lower part of the windshield. The way you do this is turn the key on, get the wiper moving, and right where you want the wiper to stop, you have to turn the key off and take the key out of the ignition. With the wiper position, first thing I'll do is I'll lift up on it and you'll hear it click into a position like this. That holds it off the windshield. Then I can come in and push down on this locking tab like this and then I'm going to push aft on the blade about a half an inch and then I pull down on it and that releases it from uh, this metal arm. Taking the new Bosch wiper blade assembly I'll begin by pushing the snap down. You'll have to get it all the way down in a position as you see here then take the blade, stick it under the arm, move it back and drop that hook into place, pull forward and then bring the snap up until it's locked in place. There's no way that wiper is going to come off the arm. Then you can take the arm and just with a light quick snap position it back down on the windshield. That completes the replacement but there's a couple other things uh, about the windshield and the maintenance of the mono wiper assembly that I want to talk about before we wrap this up. I'll use this opportunity to lubricate the articulating shaft on the wiper motor assembly here. There's a cover that is over the top of this shaft. To remove this you need to reach underneath and spread the cover apart and pull up on it and then pull it forward to release it from this part of the arm. Here you can see the shaft. I'm going to go ahead and take a little molly grease and lube this shaft up. This will prevent wear and possible problems in the future. Replacing the cover is simply a matter of pushing the grooves back in here and then snapping it back into place. I consider regular wiper blade replacement and windshield maintenance an extremely important safety issue. If you've ever driven down that uh, dark country road at night with heavy rain pouring on your windshield and having it streak on you, you know what it's like when you really can't see where you're going. So that's extremely important. I would be remiss to not talk about the windshield as we discuss this wiper blade replacement. Every year, and sometimes more often depending upon the condition, I thoroughly 
clean my windshield. And you may be asking, well, Kent, how do you do that? I found the best way to make sure I get all that acid rain and pitch off the windshield is to carefully use a brand new, and I'm going to emphasize brand new single blade razor. Along with foaming windshield cleaner, I will spray a heavy coating over one section at a time, and then I will take the blade and I will push at a very small angle straight down. You can actually feel this blade come in contact with small impurities on the glass. And I will continue to do this. I'll do maybe one square foot at a time. And when I'm done, I will take a towel and wipe that off and proceed on to the next section. This is going to take a while, so I won't show you the whole process in this video. But this is very important, and I highly recommend that you do this every year.